Good evening, I'm Ian Goodings, and may I say right at the top, thank you very much for the ratings. It's nice to know we're closing in so fast on SBS. <laughs> Ahead in tonight's news, Queensland police say they hold grave fears about taking a ride on the ghost train. A fire at a charcoal factory causes a million dollars worth of stock. And a big surprise for a missing cat called Lucky as I run over him and kill him on the way here. <laughs> But first, the news. A truck laden with explosives overturned on the Hume Highway today, fortunately injuring no one. However, a local court decision was overturned in the High Court, killing three people. <laughs> Doctors have finally revealed the mystery illness that led to Senator Mal Colston's hospitalisation. He was suffering from travel sickness. <laughs> a small dog, a very brave fireman, and an angel who answers the prayers of a little girl. What do they have in common? They're all missing from Grunt Peterson's latest pornographic film, Let's Do Donkeys. <laughs> and a poll has found that one in three cyclists chain their bikes to it. <laughs> well, three horses were destroyed at Randwick Racecourse yesterday when dynamite strapped to their stomachs suddenly went off. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just one of those things that happens in racing. Well, to news now on our Olympic athletes, and when it comes to relay racing with a baton, you've got to hand it to them. <laughs> and at Palm Beach today, whales stranded themselves along the coast. With low tides, the future looks bleak for their survival. How many whales have beached themselves? Oh, there's about 50. And how many of you are there? There's only one of me. What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, how many volunteers? Sorry, I've misinterpreted you. Um, there's uh, just me, but I am hoping for more to come tomorrow. Will the whales survive until tomorrow? No, no, they won't. So what's the point of volunteers arriving tomorrow? Well, I need a lift home. And we just had some good news from Palm Beach. Less than half an hour ago, volunteers arrived and successfully pushed Dr Volkus out to sea. Unfortunately, the sea rejected the doctor and spewed him back up onto the beach.